Hi guys, this is Vitaly with AFT Dispatch and A2C Logistics and in today's video I'd like to talk to you about the three key areas where COVID is changing the trucking industry and every trucker's daily operations. Now before I jump in I'd like to ask you to please like the video, be sure you're subscribed to our channel and hit the notification bell so you never miss any of our videos that we produce every Friday talking about something that could benefit you in your trucking businesses and your trucking careers as well as cover the loads we've successfully booked for our customers consisting of lease on owner operators and carriers operating under their own MC authorities running under our truck dispatch services. So thanks a lot for uh, the likes, definitely appreciate them, they help a lot, keep them coming and let's jump in. You know this past year has been definitely uh, very trying on the trucking industry, on our economy in the United States and uh, this past year showed uh, the importance of essential services throughout uh, the industry and throughout uh, you know not only the US economy but what consumers are more interested in purchasing, the purchasing power of consumers and where the US dollars are going. And there is uh, basically three areas of, imp uh, of improvement. So these are, these are positive changes that are happening throughout the industry. First of all, there's going to be paperless and contactless uh, technology. You've, you've definitely seen that. Uh, a lot of shippers and receivers are changing that. They're having a lot more in-cab work where you're not even coming out of your cab. Everything gets taken care of while you're inside the truck. Um, a lot of changes in sales and virtual meetings. Obviously, you guys have all heard the, of the term Zoom. It's been all over news. The companies have been making, these tech companies have made a lot of money because a lot of companies have been using these virtual uh, services for meetings and uh, different types of sales technologies. Um, electronic BOLs, you guys have seen that. PODs are being uh, signed uh, and transmitted electronically, no more paperwork, which is definitely very, very nice. And uh, you don't have to worry about losing paperwork or having shoddy uh, copies and you know taking pictures, scanning them, sending them in, et cetera, et cetera. Um, the other thing that we definitely want to look at is the reimagining of uh, the traditional office space, right? The, the traditional office space is always uh, the way that we have our offices set up, right? Until we had to have our dispatchers working from home, uh, we were working from an office. And uh, now they're back to working from the office, but uh, the concept is that uh, employers have had to get get their employees working from the office and uh, that's definitely changed the level uh, level the playing field and changed the uh, the game altogether luckily it's resulted in very very positive uh, you know turn of events for for companies and uh, you know at this point it's just the upper management that comes into the office a lot of companies are working this way where you know the you know everyone's working from home basically that's kind of where we're at um, working from home is also considered to be less stressful over time that's been a positive thing a lot of folks have felt that they are under a lot less stress and they're able to be a lot more productive so again a lot more positive uh, for folks out there in the office uh, environments. Uh, it saves money and that money that's been saved is, uh, at least in terms of trucking companies, it allows the trucking companies to expand their fleets, buy more trucks, buy more trailers, and pay drivers more. Hopefully that will turn around and uh, in you know savings that will be passed on to the truck drivers themselves. Um, Online, uh, you know, truck driving, you know, onboarding, truck, uh, truck driver onboarding, that's, that's been the case. So in the past, you had to go to safety orientations, trainings, etc. A lot of that is turning um, to be an online program. And the online driver orientations, uh, there's a lot of companies are actually going to 100% online. Um, but paperwork uh, is basically all online. You know, you start doing your applications, your PSPs, uh, drug testing, alcohol, the consortium through the FMCSA, all this stuff is online now. And uh, some companies are becoming 100% virtual with, you know, with, with how they operate day to day. Um, one thing to, to notice is that some of the industries and some of the sectors that have definitely benefited from this uh, pandemic, and that's been the grocery supply. It's been absolutely booming. Grocery supply is actually indicating, indicating to us where consumers are spending their money, where their essential goods are, and where they uh, where they're actually kind of congregating in terms of their dollars. Uh, traffic and congestion is definitely, uh, has definitely decreased, which is a big boom for truckers. Uh, office work is certainly, as I mentioned, much more productive and, and with the decrease in traffic, et cetera, uh, you know, truckers are less pressed for time, which is all uh, very, very beneficial. So, you know, weigh in at the bottom here, uh, you, know, what, you know, what you've seen, if these are things that have uh, benefited you, if these are things you've noticed in your day-to-day -day activities and, uh, you know, how you feel about uh, the, the response to the, to the pandemic and how that has changed your day-to-day uh, -day activities as a truck driver in America today. So we're going to switch over to camera. We're going to look over some of the loads that we've booked for our customers this week and uh, hold on just a moment and make sure you like the video before we switch over. Thanks, guys.
All right, welcome back, guys. Let's take a look at some of these loads. Another really great week. We're going to start off with some vented van freight coming out of uh, Martins Creek, Pennsylvania, going to Sterling, Virginia. It was uh, 43,000 pounds of packaging materials, 212 miles booked at $900, which got them $425 per mile. Then it took a load out of Ma Martinsburg, West Virginia, went to Queenstown, Maryland, 39,000 pound load of uh, empty pallets, 135 miles booked at $750, which got them $556 per mile. Then a load out of Aspers, Pennsylvania to Tully, New York, 41,000 pound load of dry food, 268 miles booked at $1,400, which got them $522 per mile. All in all, these guys ran Wednesday to Friday and only uh, drove for about two days, uh, very short runs, ended up grossing $3,050, only ran 615 miles of that money and averaged $496 per mile. Uh, and 342 per mile was total with deadhead. So excellent rates and a really good example of what you can do with some really short runs and uh, make some really big money doing that. Next, we're gonna look at some uh, reefers coming out of uh, Morris, Illinois, going to Odessa, Texas. It looks like a load of food product, 1167 miles on this one, booked at $3,200, which got them 274 per mile. Then it took a load out of Eagle Pass, Texas, going to Auburn, Washington. And uh, Load of Corona beers, uh, 2,083 miles, booked at 5,000 bucks even, that's 240 per mile. All in all, they ran for a week. This driver really likes to run longer miles, ended up getting lots of miles at 3,250 miles for the week, grossed $8,200 at an average of 252 per mile. Excellent job. Long, long miles, long runs, uh, excellent average. Now we're gonna look at some dry vans coming out of Fort Collins, Colorado, going to uh, Huron, South Dakota. This was a load of beer. Uh, next one load coming out of Colorado. You guys all know the market there. 574 miles booked at $1,900, which got them 331 per mile to come out of Fort Collins. And then uh, right out of Her uh, Huron, South Dakota, zero deadhead, took a load uh, going to Hillside, New Jersey. This was a load of sunflower seeds. 1,471 miles on this one, booked at $4,500, which got them 306 per mile. All in all, this uh, driver drove uh, uh, for four days, Monday to Friday morning, so realistically four days in running, $6,400 grossed at 313 per mile and ran 2,045 uh, miles. Next, we got a reefer coming out of Sandston, Virginia, going to uh, Owatonna, uh, Minnesota, 23,000 pound load of frozen chicken, a negative 10, 1191 on the miles, $2,400 booked at 202 per mile. Then they took a load out of uh, New Ulm, Minnesota. Uh, took that load to Topeka, Kansas. It was a load of food at 34 uh, degrees, 40,000 uh, pounds. That was 447 miles booked at $1,900, which got them 425 per mile. Then next, uh, next they took a load out of Manhattan, Kansas, going to Danville, Illinois. 9,000 pound load of uh, food at 34 degrees, so very, very light and uh, not frozen. 548 uh, miles booked at 2,000 bucks, which got them 365 per mile. And they took a load out of McCook, Illinois, and took it to Osceola, uh, Iowa. And uh, that was 43.4 on the weight. Food product, negative 10 on the reefer. 377 miles booked at $1,800, which got them 477 per mile. Then right out of Osceola, zero deadhead, took a load to New Albany, Mississippi. 25,000 pound load coming out of the same exact facility as before. Uh, it was a dairy product, 20 degrees on the reefer. 683 miles booked at $3,300, which got them 483 per mile. All in all, they ended up grossing fantastic. This is probably the driver of the week. Ended up grossing as a solo, $11,400 gross for the week, running Friday to Friday, one week. Ended up uh, running 351 per mile loaded and uh, around 3,246 uh, miles. So certainly a top driver, top money in trucking. We've definitely squeezed out everything. $11,400 for a week, excellent money. Now we're looking at some uh, dry vans coming out of McCool, Illinois, going to Shreveport, uh, Louisiana. 860 miles, very light load of 9,000 pounds of uh, packaging materials, booked at $2,900, which is 337 per mile. Then Marshall, Texas, going to New Orleans, Louisiana. Another 7,000 pound load of HHG, 346 uh, miles, booked at $1,700, which got them 491 per mile. <clears throat> Oh no, this is uh, actually a brand new driver for us. Had an excellent start. Uh, took off from uh, Illinois, from Chicago, uh, Tuesday to uh, Friday morning is what he ran. Only ran for three days. Very light loads, as you can see. Very, very light loads. Um, ended up grossing $4,600 and uh, ran that at $381 per loaded mile. Uh, another excellent example of what you can do, uh, you know, even as a brand new driver, you can take some uh, shorter runs, make some really good money. And, uh, and this gentleman ran 1,206 miles, grossed $4,600 at 381 per mile. So excellent job there. 
Uh, reefers, uh, we're looking at Burbank, Washington, going to North Little Rock, Arkansas, 43,000 pound load of dry goods, 2,046 miles, booked at $6,000, which got them 293 per mile and lots of miles. Then out of uh, Searcy, Arkansas, they took a load to Miami, Florida, 39,000 pound load of frozen food. And that was uh, 1,149 miles booked at $3,500, which got them 305 per mile. All in all, they ended up running Monday to Monday, grossed $9,500, averaged uh, 297 per loaded mile. And, uh, you know, excellent run. Washington to Florida made two runs, two really good runs, made some really good money at 9,500 bucks and ran 3,195 miles in doing so. Um, now we have some uh, dry vans coming out of Quincy, Washington. This is an interesting one. Uh, <clears throat> Quincy, Washington to La Vista, Nebraska. 18,000 pound load of computer equipment in a dry van. Running this one uh, at 1,524 miles, booked at $3,800. That's 249 per mile. Then at Omaha, Nebraska, they took a load back to Washington. They went to Pasco, Washington. That's a 41,000 pound load of agricultural products, 1,511 miles, booked at 4,000 bucks this time. That's 265 per mile. All in all, they ran Thursday to Thursday, grossed $7,800. That's a 257 per loaded mile average. This driver really loves the mountains, is not afraid of you know snow and ice and he gets definitely paid very well for this definitely a pro uh, puts the pro in a professional driver so definitely appreciate you and uh, definitely take a take advantage of these uh, spikes in pricing i mean you definitely want to you know if the weather's good there's no problem take take off to the northern states make the money uh, next uh, we have a dry van coming out of king prussia pennsylvania going to elitesdale pennsylvania 10,000 pound load of vitamins on pallets that's 304 miles booked at $1,100, which is 362 per mile. Then Saybrook, Ohio, going to Jessup, Maryland, 22,000 pound load of paper. That's uh, 368 miles booked at $1,600, which got them 435 per mile. And then finally, took a load out of Aberdeen, Maryland, going to Pittston, Pennsylvania, 40,000 pound load of, uh, of uh, FAK. And uh, there, th that's going to be 175 miles short run, booked at a thousand bucks, which got them 571 per mile. All in all, they ran for only three days, uh, made some East Coast runs, grossed 3,700 bucks, 847 miles ran, not much, but averaged 437 per mile. And uh, <clears throat> East Coast runs, they really make the difference. You can stay in an area, you can make some short runs, you can make. Uh, you know, a good amount of money, not putting a lot of uh, miles on, not burning a lot of fuel, and do really quite well. The East Coast is worth it. Stay out there, make some money, look at upstate New York. You know, if, we, you, know, if you have the permits or you're leased on with us, we have the permits. You can go out there and you can make really good money in upstate New York, some of the other surrounding states, and walk away a happy camper. And again, if you want to be a happy camper, if you're not making this kind of money, whether you're an owner-operator, you're leased on with somebody, or you're a, you're a carrier running under your own MC authority, we work with both types of customers. We lease on owner operators, have one of the lowest cost uh, lease on programs, as well as our uh, dispatch service. So if you are an owner, uh, a company uh, with your own MC authority, we can work with you. And we do this all the time. You can get more information on our website at aftdispatch.com forward slash go. And I'm going to leave a little uh, link here, a little window so you can actually see. And you can send us a message there on our chat system. You can actually call or text us at 801 four four eight six three six three call or text and you can always uh you know take a look through our uh <clears throat> through our websites uh you know all the information that's on there aftdispatch.com forward slash go i'm gonna leave a little uh a box here right in here in the corner so you can take a look at our playlist of all these videos we have about as of this recording 17 weeks of videos go through those you'll see that we've consistently booked excellent rates. We have some very, very happy customers and they're sticking around because they're making the money. Until next week, guys, stay healthy, be wealthy. Take care.